In this video, we use our laser machine to create three fun double-decker name keychains out of different materials. See how we did it. I used Adobe Illustrator to design each of the keychains. For the first keychain, I started with designing the bottom layer and typed my name using Ed Market Bold Script, which is an Adobe font. I resized it to a little under two inches in width, which is about the size I was looking to make it. I pressed Control shift o which converted the font to an outline because I was going to use a different computer to send the file to the laser, and I don't think that computer has the font loaded. I joined all of the letters together using the Unite button in the Pathfinder palette. This may also be called compounding or combining depending on the software you use. With the name selected, I selected the object menu path and then offset path to create a larger version of the name shape and then changed the solid black to an outline. I then changed the color of the outline to red and the stroke width to be 0.216 inches, which happens to be the correct color and stroke weight for vector cutting with our laser. I also added a small circle for attaching the jump ring and keychain and added a larger version of that circle to the outer cut border of the name and combined it. For the top layer of the keychain, I then duplicated the solid heather text and changed that to a vector shape as well. The red lines will be where the keychain is cut out and the black solid areas on the bottom layer will be engraved to make it easier to put the top layer in the correct spot. You can see each of the different keychains we'll be making here, including a keychain representing Dave's cat Gizmo, with a little heart in the O, and a fun keychain with the ninja face for my brother Sam. The Sam keychain was made out of three different materials. The ninja face was cut and engraved out of black acrylic. Sam's name for the top layer was cut out of mirror acrylic. And then the bottom layer was engraved and cut out of white acrylic. For the Heather keychain, the bottom layer was made out of 8th inch Baltic birch, and the top layer was cut out of clear acrylic. The bottom layer of the Gizmo keychain was made out of 8th inch MDF, and the top layer was cut out of clear acrylic along with the Heather top layer and a couple of other items we were cutting at the same time. The bottom side of the top layer of the Heather keychain was painted with a couple layers of blue acrylic paint. Once it was dry, Dave used a small dowel to apply glue to the back side of the top layer and then joined the bottom and top layer together. Next, jump rings and lobster claws were added to a cute puff and tassel for adding a little flair to the keychain. The mask was peeled off the bottom layer and the keychain and flare were attached via a jump ring. The last step was to remove the top layer mask for the final reveal. Hooray! For the Sam Ninja keychain, leaving the mask on the top of the acrylic, Dave applied white acrylic paint in the engraved face area to give it a fun contrast with the black acrylic of the mask that would later be revealed. Then he used a dowel to apply some glue to each of the engraved areas on the bottom layer and stuck each letter and the ninja head to it. The recessed area of the engraving made it a lot easier to place each piece. Next, the paper mask was removed to reveal the cute ninja mask and the rest of the keychain. Finally, the key ring and chain was attached with a jump ring for a keychain perfect for a true ninja. Hooray! Gizmo is next. The back side of the O was painted with a little red acrylic paint in the heart area and rest of the O and back side of the other letters were painted with a pretty periwinkle blue. The reason we decided to paint the back or bottom of the acrylic pieces for both this and the Heather keychain is that we thought it added a neat three-dimensional effect to the keychains 
and also because keychains can go through a lot of abuse. This would ensure that the paint did not rub off over time. As was done with the other keychains, some glue was applied to the engraved areas of the bottom piece and each letter stuck to it. Then all of the mask was removed. Finally, the tassel and puff were attached to the key ring via jump rings and lobster claws and then attached to the keychain. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think and if you've ever thought about doing a project like this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more laser projects coming soon. Stay tuned.